T, chill, nigga, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, chill. I've been waiting for this. Cause this dude, I remember when it happened. It just happened like last month. Dude killed his whole family. What? Yeah, like 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 yeah, like squeeze, boom. Like he boomed his family, like everybody. And I think let's just let's watch, cause I don't want to see. Like that. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> see, chill, <laughs> chill, bro. This nigga be tweaking. This nigga, I be feeling like that. Chill out, bro. We are following breaking news today. Two people are dead after a shooting at Dundas and Parliament. Here's a live look at the scene from the air. A shattered piece in Regent Park. A shooting has left two men dead and a woman in hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. I, I mean to do it, but I have to do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to do it, but I have to do it. Don't say a word. I'm, you, you, you personally come get it. I'm gonna give it to you personally. Don't say no bitch. This is man-to-man -man shit. Nah, you think I'm right? You're not even I'm gonna smack the shit out of you. That's what I'm gonna do. I will blow you don't even you deserve up. to die, you bitch kid. Blow your you don't even deserve to die. Killed on Tuesday afternoon near Dundas and Parliament Streets. 23 year old Benedict Johnson Congolo, the son and brother of the victims, is now facing two counts of first degree murder in connection. Holy oh, shit! This guy just shot the fing guy. Welcome back. On today's episode of Tales of Toronto, we're covering one of the most gruesome stories the city has seen in recent years. It's a tale involving a rapper who, in an apparent manic episode, would commit a horrific act of familicide. But what makes the situation even more deranged is what he was posting on social media mere hours prior to carrying out the horrendous act. The tale begins here, in Regent Park. Within the heart of Toronto, Regent Park has long held a reputation that precedes it. Since the early 90s, the 69-acre block was characterized by gun and gang violence. Locals attributed the rising violence with cultural conflicts, while community leaders published a report in the mid-70s citing a lack of recreational facilities, bored youth, and socioeconomic factors as reasons for the neighborhood's increasing conflicts. It wouldn't be until 2003 when Toronto's City Council formally endorsed the blueprint for a revitalized Regent Park, with demolition beginning in 2006. Fast forward to 2024, Regent Park is almost unrecognizable. After being littered with freshly built condos, supermarkets, community centers, and coupled with reports indicating the once troubled neighborhood had zero gun-related homicides in all of 2023, Regent Park was finally making real progress. Sadly, mere weeks after the community celebrated the success of the $2.5 million revitalization plan, the two-decade-long progress would be stripped away by a local rapper. <laughs> This is 23-year-old Benedict Johnson Congolo, better known by his rap name, Joe Easy. He's a Regent Park bred rapper, entering the city's niche rap scene in 2018 at just 17 years old. He showed great potential after featuring on his debut track, Call Back, alongside fellow Regent Parker, Lil Barrett. Although the catchy tune has since been deleted, the duo would continue their rise to rap prominence with the hit, No Makeup. Currently sitting at nearly 4 million views, this was just one of many songs that put Joe Easy and the new generation of Regent Park rappers on the map. The new gen dubbed themselves STN, an acronym for Southside to Northside. Backed by the likes of the melodic Lil Barrett, the energetic paperboy, and the lyrical underdog Acer, the future for STN was bright. Metro, nigga, I'm booming. Catch me in a fork, I'll be brown, we zooming. After the release of No Makeup, the group carried their momentum into 2019 with songs like Boomerang, which is now sitting at more than half a million views, and Paperboy CP24, a remix of the hit single from rival Bleecker Street rapper Loco City. Joe Easy also dropped his first solo track this year, reaching an impressive 250,000 views. STN achieved numerous milestones in 2019, but as coronavirus creeped into the new year, Coupled with one of the longest lockdowns the world has ever seen, music production for the crew came to an abrupt stop, especially for Joe Easy. He didn't release a single song that year and what makes his situation worse is he re-emerged into the spotlight in the worst way possible. 
You see, being a rapper from Regent Park came with a price, especially in 2018. Not only was it the year Joe Easy made his musical debut, but it was the year beloved Regent Park rapper Smoke Dog was shot and killed by Driftwood Court-based rapper 21 Neat. The incident sparked a now six-year-long gang war between multiple blocks across Toronto, from the infamous Driftwood Crips. Yo, we're from Driftwood. We're not from Regent Park, man. Get out of here. We'll pack you. Pack to Jumbles go get him gang. <laughs> get out of here. We'll Bro, it's Paperboy. All that beacon on the net. Nah, I thought you was a thug. Bossy's on too. We all here. We all here. Icy. Regent Park affiliates became enemy number one to a number of notoriously violent crews across the screw face capital. And Joe Easy was no exception to their wrath. You guys, I don't, all right, don't, don't say a word. I'm, you, you, you personally come get it. I'm going to give it to you personally. Don't send no this is man to man shit. Nah, you think I'm right? Right, what are you talking about, fam? I wouldn't have called you, fam. If you want to give it back, I have a shorty. Fam, I wouldn't have called you, fam. What, like, what do you mean, fried? Come on, talk to me with some respect, fam. Man, talk to you with respect, bro. You're moving like this. You're moving like I didn't see you in the mall last time, too, right? Same you, shit. You saw me in the mall where? <laughs> you know, you, I seen you at your deal with your shorty, right? Excess. How much you pay for the piece? Yo, I didn't pay for no piece. You never bought that chain? What are you talking about? Am I gifted to you or what? Well, yeah, I got that shit from the States from my and Crody's over there. So I don't pay for chains and shit. I didn't pay for that. But all I want, yeah. let me know if I could go send a bitch or go get it or not, man. On January 2nd, 2021, a video surfaced showing a recorded phone call between Joe Easy and Go Get Them Gang affiliate, Money Boy. During the call, the two seemed to be discussing a way for them to meet up so Joe Easy could receive a chain he was robbed of. The chain belonged to his older brother, a widely respected member of the Regent Park community known as DK. At the time, DK was incarcerated all the way in Thunder Bay, Ontario after being arrested during the city's largest fentanyl bust. Thunder Bay Police noted DK was suspected of fueling trap houses across the city. They further added, DK along with two other individuals were in possession of approximately $150,000 in cash, one handgun, and $400,000 worth of drug paraphernalia. Prior to his arrest, DK handed over his chain to Joe Easy thinking it would be in good hands, but he was sadly mistaken. Joe Easy was later set up by a girl affiliated with the Go Get Them gang, who in turn, robbed him of the chain. A few days after the phone call was leaked, Go Get Them gang's front man, Top 5, would go live on Instagram wearing the chain. Throughout the live stream, Top 5 would play the recorded call while mocking Joe Easy, even going as far as threatening to flush the chain down the toilet. Yo, five, you should have flushed that in his face. What are you doing? <laughs> You're not serious. You're not serious. No, we're going to the jeweler. We have to see if it's true or fake. Yeah, you should have flushed that stuff. Flush it. Eight, flush eight, it. To, eight to set shit on it. <laughs> if you're a bon bon, flush it right now. Flush that. When a real like when a real like me joins the rap game, it's over. Nobody wins when GGG's in this rap game. We take chains. We make him main shooters run. Moments later, Lil Barrett joined the live stream and things quickly escalated. <laughs> they not skipping about a lot stop of Stop making, stop making bat, bitches back door. Um, come on, guys. Boop! I, I, I don't even want to say no hot shit. I don't even want to say no hot shit, but you're good. You guys what are you ever bun? You guys are good? What are you ever bun? Are you good? Are you, good? Are, you, are you good? Is MJ good? Is I'm it good? Not Jordan. Is it good? I'm not talking about Jordan. Are good? We here. Okay, yeah. inshallah, inshallah. We here. I'm, gonna, I'm not... Tell me, you're not Stop even my your mom. I'm gonna smack the shit out of you. That's what I'm gonna do. I will blow you don't even it. deserve to die, you bitch kid. Blow your you don't even deserve to die. Cameras you don't deserve everything. time. You're such a bitch. Look at you, fat kid. A bitch got your Look chain. Glock got a switch like Nintendo. Got the way for the lows like Mentos. Joe Easy refused to be humiliated by his ops because less than two weeks after the live stream aired, he dropped a diss track featuring Paperboy. The upbeat profanity-laced song was titled Bra 5, a reference to the highly publicized leaked video of Top 5, who was caught on camera dancing around in a bra. From comparing Top 5 to infamous rapper turned federal informant 6 9 to I Publicized yeah, leaked video of Top 5, who was caught on camera yeah, dancing around in a bra. From comparing Top 5 to infamous rapper turned federal informant 6 9 
pocket for that. Oh, word, like yeah. quarters in the couch. He, he was doing it like he was cool and shit though. Like, yeah, he so, out of pocket like quarters in the couch. His <laughs> niggas is crazy for go dome and that shit. Yeah, I'd have smacked one of y'all niggas upside your head. Y'all have came on the camera with some dumb shit like that. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Yeah, like, yeah one of his mans was supposed to smack him for that. on camera with that. Yeah, like, niggas would have smacked you. He probably niggas top top dog out of niggas. All them niggas is... Doing whatever he doing, nah, bro. Nah, nigga, nigga, fuck that, that nigga. Yeah, smack the top. Yeah, yeah, smack that nigga. Fuck that. Smack a nigga. Bro, from wild. comparing top five to infamous rapper turned federal informant 6ix9ine to dissing the GG's frontman's fallen brother foolish, Joe Easy didn't hold back in the slightest. Big crib, see a hot Nintendo, we switch it. Can't go back and forth with a bitch kit. 6ix9ine on life, he's snitching. No legs, we aim for beanies. Real G's don't rate no GG's. Lie your bro, daddy lying on his name. Don't be foolish, man, you know he got some aim. I ain't know I rap for my brother's chain. How the fuck you wrote that? You ain't give a flame. Haha. <laughs> You see when you're in the streets, you can't do the top lives. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga don't even talk to me, bro. Five. Joe Easy and nigga threw the bra to him. Bitch ass nigga don't even talk to me, bro. Five. Nigga caught the bra, nah. Joe Easy and the Go Get Them Gang affiliates would go back and forth throughout the next few weeks until DK was released on bail on January 21st, 2021. Language shit, talk shit. Bro. You know Suck what else? Your I, mom. <laughs> they be wildin', bro. They have you ready to fight off of words, like for real. No offense, neither. Cause I, I work with wild niggas. Them niggas is just naturally fucking rude. They, <laughs> they, <laughs> they don't even mean to be fucking rude. They just naturally pussy. fucking rude. <laughs> Suck your mom, pussy. Yeah. Suck your father. <laughs> With his older brother home, Joe Easy's focus shifted back to making music as he made his return to the scene with his new single, Active. Although the track broke 155,000 views, this would be the last time his songs surpassed the 100k mark. In fact, he released just two more songs after Active, both of which struggled to earn even 20,000 views. At this point, DK noticed his brother's once promising rap career rapidly declining, and with one of his bail conditions restricting him from speaking with Joe Easy, there was only so much he could do. Is this end up to this nigga killing his fucking family? You don't know. It's going, you gotta watch and see. Not so they just well, telling the beginning of who he was and shit. Like, so we get a going at who it he with is. the ops and then you just win it. You never know. Niggas be fighting demons, my nigga. You never know. Do. He tried reaching out to major blog pages, asking them to promote Joe Easy's music, while his father would post his songs on his own social media accounts, both to little avail. Seeing how they went out of their way to make sure one of their own was straight, truly shows how supportive of each other the Convalo family really were, which makes what happens next so much more sinister. Tuesday, March 12, 2024, at around 11 in the morning, Joe Easy would post a series of cryptic messages to his Instagram story, aimed at his younger brother and aspiring rapper, Northside05. The first post said, Oh b I'm not one of these bitch ass kids. Goof ass kids who never put in pain a day in their life. Kidnap victim ass kids in the streets, come online trying to put on a fake persona for Seen the video of his getting back by my blooder, went and cried real tears, hashtag gang, hashtag high five, wiped it and went Goku on the net talking crazy, told me come bang out for you cause your girl got put in back as, porn style, you goof, never stood on anything he said though, most these out here really bitch, getting ransomed by their friends, seen them and shook hands and popped bottles, what are you standing on, oh shit, that's my unreleased bar, now you standing on business, project boy, saying belt, 100 more lines. My Ute, you're a box thief trying to steal my sauce. Tape cover, Roly, my ring, all in his last video. Mad about these and trying to come for me? Mad cause they're called them beg and wanna suck my nuts. I was in the next room, you're beg. Crying real tears when pops called me a demon a couple months ago. Gave him a pat on the back, said go upstairs and pray. He looked at me and started laughing. You are a baby. Borrowing silver moissanite Cuban chains. Fake chain. Post close-ups of your MJ chain that's tuning green. MJ turning in his grave trying to look bigger than me. My youth, you are tiny. Stealing my cover art. Wanna be me identity thief. You cried real tears saying I don't rate you because I didn't send you unreleased. I said now nah because you're gonna steal my shit. Built for net banging. Don't make me end your career early and post your fire videos and pictures from your old spam part 2. 
rocking my shit, fronting for the gram, Crazy. posting on my birthday, trying to get some recognition. All of the Where did all this, what did his brother do to make him do that? I don't know, was it, the, was my, is it my bugging or was this shit like some spontaneous random shit? Like, and then he just went to the net and went he crazy. probably just sick of his brother. <laughs> you know it sounds like some envy and hate and yeah, shit. Yeah, it's it's nice nice and it. His brother probably going up on the music. But he shit again, not going up no more. That might be how this video trying to spin it. We never know. I never know. All of a sudden, you reply to all your comments. You a just oh, trying to flex on a bitch with the birthday gift she got me, saying in tracks you real. Every clothes you rock you bought real. Put my oh, shoes back in the room, kid. kid. Took little guy to eat and had to pull over three times for him to potty. How are you not potty trained at your grown age? You and this shit for the wrong reasons and wrong intentions. Bruh bruh told me, let me find out he can't hold his pee. I was disappointed. I know for a fact broski helps pay for your sessions, fronts for you, steal my shit and drop before me, and my watch and clothes, plus your Sounds like six helping hands. These rappers, they really rappers. If the shoe fits, wear it. It doesn't even fit. You took out the insole and got a squeeze. Post the inside of your shoes, kid. Man lost my insole to my thousand dollar kicks. Change what I rap about. Let me drop Trap Boy this week. Project Boy, pipe it up. Gotta eat. 1516 talking that shit. Real bars to bend my vibe. You weren't ever like this. Hashtag Freestyle King. Doing the most to fit in. I don't fit in. I stand out and really stand on business. You off this. You look like the wannabe Joe Easy, off brand Doovy. Joe Easy then posted a picture frame of Paperboy, who was shot just days prior to the following incident. He captioned the flick with, You good, right, broski? Right after this, he posted a near identical picture frame, this time belonging to Northside 05. Joe Easy captioned it, He got the new one with lights now, biter. Then came the ninth and final post Don't risk my life to flex for likes. Ironic, considering what would unfold mere hours later. At approximately 1.28 p.m. that same day, Joe Easy's mother would come running out of her townhouse unit on Arnold Avenue, screaming at the top of her lungs for someone to call the police. Neighbors heard the commotion and quickly alerted the authorities who arrived to a gruesome scene shortly after. Officers found DK his father John Condolo, and his mother, all suffering from gunshot wounds. They also located a one-year-old child inside the townhouse unit. Fortunately, she was left unharmed. DK, who was found lying several meters away from his home on the corner of Parliament and Dundas Street, seemed to have suffered the brunt of the attack and was provided with immediate life-saving measures, but it wasn't enough. He was pronounced dead at the scene. His father John Congolo was found in the townhouse unit, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds to the face. He died from his injuries at the hospital a few hours later. They were Toronto's 14th and 15th murder victims of 2024. DK's mother was grazed in the head by a bullet and was rushed to the hospital. Miraculously, she made a full recovery and was released by the end of the day. Back at the scene, she was shot with in the head. Head. Grazed her head. The head. Man, God bless her, man. She probably hit her head. She probably fake dead. Like. God bless her, man. Because she lost her sons. A husband and she another son. Family. Now the other son in jail too. So nigga in jail, dead, dead. Family, it's crazy. Officers located a suspect and engaged in a foot pursuit. The brief pursuit ended in an altercation. You know it's crazy when you live in the same crib and you go on Instagram with shit, with beef shit with the nigga that's in the next room for you. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That just seemed weird. Like, I think... <laughs> Nigga was posting all of that while his brother was in the next room. <laughs> Bring my shoes back to my room, nigga. It's crazy. Hey, that's this is sad story. That injured two officers, leaving one wounded in the arm and the other injured in both of his legs. Toronto police refused to provide further details regarding the extent of their injuries, but the officer with the arm injury was admitted to the hospital and released by the end of the day, while the officer with the leg injuries underwent emergency surgery and is currently recovering. A firearm was recovered at the scene and the suspect, later identified as Joe Easy, was subsequently captured on Sackville Street and taken into custody. Videos of the horrific attack and its gruesome aftermath began circulating on Reddit not even an hour after Joe Easy's arrest. One video showed John Congolo being taken away in a stretcher with his face completely disfigured, while another video shows the moment DK makes a run for it, with Joe Easy following a few feet behind. 
as the person recording shouts, Yo, this guy's shooting the fucking guy. You can see DK tripping over a curb and stumble to the ground, allowing Joe Easy to catch up and gun him down. That's that. Them stumbles, that's that. You scared, you about to, yeah, you, you scared. You can't stumble. That's when you're scared. Don't run, don't trip. That's why they said, don't run, don't trip. That's that scary trip. We're going to get breathing. Once you hit them stumbles, them, Ooh, it's over. They're gonna get diluted, wiped down. With how uncommon familicides are in Canada, the incident sent shockwaves throughout the country. Some attributed the attack to a manic episode, while many had absolutely no sympathy for the rapper, especially his ops. First, WAS gang affiliate Jay Neat posted a photo of Itachi to his Instagram story <laughs> with a message, Bro tried to This is what <laughs> What's wrong with this nigga, y'all? Yo. What's wrong with this nigga, man? You don't watch anime. So. <laughs> Yo, so in the anime Naruto, right? Uh -huh. This nigga, in order to get his secret, unlock his secret power, basically, uh -huh. he had to kill his whole village. So this nigga murdered his mom, his dad, <laughs> everybody in the village, and then saved his little brother because later on he has to fight his little brother and kill his little brother and unlock some more shit. But, so he just well, he just got that. He yeah, him. yeah, he just, <laughs> he just prepared this nigga to attack. That's crazy though. Like, it is crazy because he was like the 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 village hero and shit. Like he protected the village and shit. Everybody looked up to him. He was and like the command. And then the nigga just came in one day and just started cutting niggas up with the sword. <laughs> wipe out his Changed own clan everything. for those who don't know itachi is a character <laughs> off the popular anime naruto one of the most iconic scenes off the show is dubbed the uchiha clan massacre where itachi killed his entire clan in a single night but spared his younger brother sasuke now this was nothing compared to what the currently incarcerated top five had to say he posted a photo of himself wearing the late dk's chain and captioned it didn't have energy when we took his chain but wants to kill his whole family hashtag not cool he further added if we are going to make toronto great again we are gonna have to do something about regent park something is in the water then he tagged regent park based folk singer mustafa the poet and told him we need to get on a call asap because this is getting out of hand Mustafa didn't waste any time responding to top five. He wrote back, I haven't entertained your act in years, but I have a moment today. You are one of the most pathetic people this city has ever produced. And now that the audience is slipping away, what are you gonna do with this performance of Gangster? After all these years, we still don't believe you little nigga. When we see our dead brothers again, what will you show yours? Look at how you carry his name, foolish, in vain. You speak more about other dead than your own. You won't use your hands to bust a gun, at least put it up to pray for all that you lost, including your own life. Keep screaming into the void, it's what you do best. <laughs> Not being the one to back down from an argument, top five clapped back by saying, who are you today? An imam, activist, hitter, or a poet? What's pathetic is your friend killing his whole family. Then he cut a little deeper by mentioning his late brother. You wanna talk about my bro? But didn't your bro die over a half a Casamigos bottle? Go cry for him. The morning after his arrest, Joe Easy appeared briefly in a North York courtroom by video. He entered the video room wearing white coveralls provided by police. Swaying from foot to foot, breathing heavily at times and staring wide-eyed towards the floor, Joe Easy did not respond when a justice of the peace asked him to identify himself for the court. He's been like this with us all morning, an officer off-screen told the court. As of the making of this video, Joe Easy's current condition is unknown and his trial has yet to begin. A GoFundMe has been set up to aid the surviving members of the Convalo family. The link will be in the description.